beautiful world. So, I have a very interesting and creepy story for you guys today. Um, so it turns out that even when I'm in like pajama pants that are like thick as like a block of ice uh, and looking like uh, a guy, like looking as guyish as possible, like as masculine as pos possible and walking my dogs there is no way that drunk guys or at least old drunk guys have the thought that maybe these dogs will prevent me from like hitting on her or you know something like that here's the thing I was walking both of my dogs. I was walking them for like half an hour and so I was on my way back home and this guy shows up a little bit close to my building because uh, apparently he lives um, nearby and so I didn't want to like show him where I lived so I didn't like enter my building um, while he was like talking to me. I just kind of walked farther and like went all the way around just to like avoid him like seeing where I live. So this uh, creepy guy, um, he was like saying how he's a butcher and that he can give uh, me free dog bones. Um, like free bones to like uh, give to my dogs and um, yeah so he was asking for my address so that he could give them to me and I thought that was kind of creepy uh, so I I just said like um, that oh no don't worry about it my mom's boyfriend brings home bones all the time for the dogs but you don't have to worry about it because um, I have a hard time uh, just telling people to um, back off like F off and just like get the hell out of my life <laughs> um, uh, yeah it's, it's a little issue I have I was so uh, trying to be nice even though this guy was <sighs> smelled really bad like oh like a lot of alcohol and so yeah he was super drunk and he had like pistachios that he kept trying to get me to eat um like he kept asking me if i wanted them and kept like saying that he that if i gave him my address that he could give me the dog the bones for the dogs and whatever and so this guy kept like asking me if I uh, if I wanted to go on a date with him or something, and he says, "Oh, um, do you have a boyfriend?" I said, "No." I, <laughs> I told him, "No, I don't like guys." This <sighs> knowing that he's drunk. It just it made sense what he said um the like the fact that he had no filter but what he said was just so vulgar i had like no comment it was just i am bisexual but for the sake of getting this guy to stop hitting on me i told him that i am not into guys so he said um, oh, so you like to suck, and then the P word. He used the P word, and it was very vulgar, and there were people around um, that heard what he said, and it was just 
very uncomfortable, but again, I'm too nice to um, tell him to go to hell. Pretty much, this guy was following me uh, walking my dogs because, like I said, I was walking uh, further and um, saying that, like, my walk to my place was, like, half an hour to an hour um, so that he would, like, back off and maybe get the point. Um, but, like... The thing is, I was still being nice to him because uh, at the same time, um, this little issue happened. Um, Zena got off the leash. Uh, she managed to like get the leash off of her and she ran to try and play with a dog that was in one of the buildings um, beside mine. And so the guy was completely freaking out um, and he was threatening to like beat her and like bash her head in and, and really messed up things like that and he was just so like angry like beyond like repair and just it was it was messed up like but understand understandably he had a blind dog so I understood why he was like protective, but he didn't have to be that aggressive. Like Xena just wanted to play with the dog and she wasn't aware that the dog was blind. Like I even saw her reacting, like trying to play with the dog. She wasn't being, um, like she wasn't trying to bite the dog. She was just, she just was playful. Like her tail was wagging, she was, just like with her smiley face and everything and so back to the point why I was still being nice to this drunk guy that kept hitting on me and following me like a creep um, he said that if because he saw that she wasn't being rude like, like that she wasn't being like trying she wasn't trying to bite the dog that she was she was just trying to play and he said because the other guy said that he was going to call animal control um and it, was, it wasn't my fault that she got off the leash like anyway so this creepy guy that kept hitting on me and following me he said that he would be a witness if the guy actually did call animal control or if he called the police or whatever so um so the many times that he was hitting on me and at some point he gave me his number because uh, he said that I could call him if if he need a, needed a witness for this whole issue. I wasn't totally like being nice just because I can't like physically like say back off. Like, I also needed a witness, just in case, you know. But it was still very uncomfortable. This guy kept asking me uh, to come to his place. Uh, he's like, oh, you can come to my place. We can drink some wine. And I, like, I don't know. I told him, oh, I don't like wine and whatever. And... When he finally decided to walk back to go home, um, he asked for a kiss of all things. Like I told him, yeah, that I don't feel comfortable with that. And like surprisingly, he just like walked, he, he didn't like walk away right away, but he did like kind of just like look sad as if that would be like a, a moment for me to be like okay yeah you can kiss me no that's ew like this dude is probably older than my dad and this guy wanted he wanted to kiss me on the lips of all things even after i told him i'm not into guys like does it not click 
But anyway, I had to walk pretty much another half an hour after that half an hour that I was trying to uh, get this guy away from me. Um, to like kind of say that like I walked pretty far or whatever. I was saying that I had to walk the dogs a long way so that Xena would be tired from the walk. Um, anyway, this, it, it was just so weird and just so creepy and just, just ew. Cause like, I still feel so uncomfortable. I had to call my mom on my way back home so that she could meet me uh, so that I could walk together with her to come back home to the building. So that in case I pass by this guy again, that I would have somebody with me because I know my mom, she's, she's a badass. And she doesn't care, um, like whatever. She'll, she'll tell a person to back off if they need to back off. And so that's why I called her. Um, but yeah, it was just, I still feel so uncomfortable and I just, ugh, like, I feel like I need to take like a million showers. And like this guy didn't, like he didn't touch me at all in any kind of way. It's just, it just felt so awkward and like he didn't get the hint that I didn't want to be around him and it's just I was trying to be nice and I know that's a problem and it's a problem with some guys understandably because the girl is still trying to be nice even though she's totally uncomfortable but the guy thinks that she actually wants to talk to him um, because she's saying so, because she's lying, because she wants to be nice. But that's where, um, what's the word? That's where non-verbal speaking comes in. Non-verbal communication, there you go. If a girl looks like she's uncomfortable, dude, she's uncomfortable. Now that I'm home, my feet hurt because I had to walk for half an hour with this guy following me when I just wanted to go home and then another half an hour to go all the way around so that I could get home and like my shoes got totally wet because I had to keep walking so that this guy wouldn't like know where I live and like my my feet my feet weren't cold because like the shoes I had were like good but my just my feet hurt because of walking because I'm I haven't been like walking a lot so it's just it's just so messed up I mean, but on the plus side, I did uh, pass my uh, step target <laughs> on my phone um, because of having to walk so much. Um, so I mean, it's not totally horrible. Um, and I mean, I have a witness, e even like, if I do need him as a witness, I hope that he still remembers the situation if he's sober. Because he smelled so strongly of alcohol, you would have thought that he bathed in it. And it was just so messed up. I was just so, so awkward, so uncomfortable. Just, I never want to have to go through that again. It's just, ugh, ugh. so that's it for now. I will see you guys later.
Now, if you like that story, even if you thought it was creepy, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. And be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel and my health channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays and my health channel for tips and tricks on being vegan and to learn more about my epilepsy. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Mm -hmm.